Part of me doesn't want to record right now, not because of I'm not because of me being like extremely lazy or anything. It's because of how episode 119 was like kind of handled. It wasn't great. The episode wasn't amazing. I I honestly just didn't care about this episode. I went into it uh, kind of being just lazy and you know not sleeping properly for the past like like day or two or ish right and so i just i just didn't, didn't even bother watching the episode until just just now just today i watched it and i i i am extremely underwhelmed with how they handled this episode and more importantly how they handled episode not episode universe four and determine the power and just overall with all the characters they are a part of universe 4 so basically the episode is the whole universe 7 uh, besides Frieza because he doesn't do anything <laughs> the, 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 ep, it's universe 7 versus universe 4 that's what this episode is and universe 4 from what we see is consistent of a whole bunch of fighters that have gimmicks to them like there's a, a tiny bug creature that you can sense their energy but you can't hit them because they're so tiny because they're a bug uh there's a guy who is literally invisible and he can suppress his energy there's a guy who can create a barrier around any fighter that he wants to and create illusions and it's just extremely underwhelming because and the reason why I don't really want to record right now is because well I guess we should start from the beginning the beginning starts off with Vegeta he's fighting what's his name I can't remember at the moment uh, it begins off where we where we left off on I guess you can say a cliffhanger from the last episode the guy Vegeta's about to fight goes into his ultimate form, quote unquote. Uh, they shoot blast at each other. Uh, Vegeta actually uses the final flash, which you might may or may not see on my thumbnail. I'm, I might use something else, honestly. Um, Vegeta actually almost gets knocked off at the arena, and so does Gohan, by the same person, and it's the guy who's invisible. And these fighters' names, I don't know what their names are, and I probably won't really fucking care what their names are, because they're a part of Universe 4, and nobody fucking gives a shit about Universe 4. So they start speculating what the guy is doing, and it's really hot, so I need to take off my fucking jacket really quick. I'll still continue in the commentary, of course. So they're, they're speculating what the guy can do. They know that they can sense him, but they can't see him, so they're like, is it time skip? Is it, is it time skip like hit? And it's like, no. Uh, fucking. The, the God of Destruction for Universe 4. I, I knew what his name. I know what his name is. I just don't know how to. I, I just don't know how to say it and I don't want to butcher it. So they're, they're like, okay, what's, what's this guy's gimmick, right? So they're like, okay, is he invisible? And the fucking guy of destruction universe 4 is like oh yeah that's a good guess and that's what he is he's invisible master o she's like yay hey do do what krillin did with balma and get a nosebleed and put it on the guy so 18 is getting attacked from multiple you know locations around her body from the front to back there's a quote right there <laughs> so 18's getting bombarded by attacks. Piccolo steps in. He kind of does like an area of effect kind of blast, like kind of kind of how he did in early Dragon Ball. Not early Dragon Ball. I apologize. Uh, like how he did in Dragon Ball. Let's just say that. Kind of does an AOE kind of attack. Uh, Gohan's like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot blast at the ground and create smoke, and we're gonna be able to see invisible guy, and that's what happens. And then he gets eliminated. That's it. <laughs> That's it. You know, just and then they fight another motherfucker. He, the guy who can create illusions by trapping him in like a dome. They immediately find him where he is, and then they knock him off the arena with just a simple blast. 
That's it. You know, just there's there's nothing to the rest of these fighters for Universe Four. There's nothing to this episode. It's the entirety of the episode is filler until we get to the finale of the episode. That is it. That is literally entirely it. Nothing else happens. We finally fight the tiny bug motherfucker. Piccolo gets eliminated. Uh, I, I, before I forget to mention, Piccolo gets eliminated from the, the Tournament of Power. It's not like that'll fucking matter in the end. Uh, you know, the bug guy gets eliminated because Seventeen trapped him in like a ball and he punched him off the fucking arena. Universe 4 gets erased because that was their last fucking fighter. And that's it. The episode just ends off there. I have literally nothing else to talk about in the episode. Because nothing happened. Nothing happened besides the last few mo mo the last few moments of the episode. That is it. I, I want to talk about the previews because that's the only thing I feel like I can actually talk about. And this is me uh, prognosticating without reading, watching, or seeing anything about uh, the leaks of the next few episodes, like episode 120, 121, etc., etc. Right? So, next episode, we're going to see Universe 7 against Universe 3. And I think they're going to do the exact same thing as they did with this week's episode by making it seem like it's filler. Nothing else is to it. It's so unexpected. It's so underwhelming, even though it looks cool. It may look cool, but that doesn't mean it's, you know... And it, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean it's overwhelmingly, like, good, right? It's actually underwhelmingly terrible, right? So, I, the same thing's gonna fucking happen with this episode. With, with, the same thing that's gonna happen in next week's episode on Saturday that, that I did last week. So, this week we got Universe 4 getting erased. Next week we're going to have an entirety of the episode consisting of Universe 3 getting erased. And then the next week after that is when we're finally going to get the whole big finale fight of Jiren versus Goku, Vegeta, Ultra Instinct, Fusion to Ultra Instinct, Vegito. That's that's gonna be the finale of the arc. <laughs> I say that I say that jokingly. I say that jokingly, but all right. Let me let me explain. I say it jokingly, but it's not out of the picture. It's definitely plausible, you know. With Goku being able to go Ultra Instinct, and Vegeta potentially maybe he'll go Ultra Instinct in the next couple weeks. It depends. And then also the fact that they allow Patara fusion. You know, Ultra Instinct. You know, it's almost like they're trying to set up Ultra Instinct Vegito by trying to be subtle, but they're also not being subtle. If you just kind of put put the pieces together yourself, it's it's kind of obvious. So, what whatever. I I guess that's my video for the day. I have nothing else to talk about. I don't know what else to say other than. Piccolo got cucked. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just leave. I hope you guys enjoyed, for whatever reason. If you're new, please consider hitting the subscribe button, of course, as always. And you know what? Just whatever. I'm out. I'll see you guys next time.